John Murtough is at risk of losing his Manchester United job once Sir Jim Ratcliffe arrives. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's Manchester United investment is expected to act as the catalyst for a shake-up in the club's sporting workforce, according to reports. And it could jeopardise football director John Murtough's position, with the British billionaire already said to be lining up what he will view as a shortlist of upgrades. United have scheduled a board meeting for Thursday, where the club's 12 members will vote on whether to ratify Ratcliffe's winning bid. The Ineos chief, who turned 71 a day earlier, has reportedly agreed to pay around £1.4 billion for an initial 25% stake, with the view of completing a phased takeover. Ratcliffe is expected to inherit power over sporting decisions at Old Trafford and hold more voting rights than any of the six Glazer siblings. According to The Athletic, Ratcliffe has proposed a restructuring of the club's board featuring Ineos representatives handing his team influence on sporting matters. As part of that, he will reportedly look to make his own sporting appointments in a department headed by former head of British Cycling and Ineos Grenadier, Sir Dave Brailsford. The report claims plans have already been discussed over candidates to help overhaul United's recruitment strategy, leaving Murtough's future at the club in serious doubt. Paul Mitchell has long been linked to Old Trafford, having built a reputation for stellar recruitment at Southampton, Tottenham Hotspur. RB Leipzig and as Monaco, where he recently left his role as sporting director. Mitchell has moved back home to Manchester and shares a good relationship with senior Ineos figures, who are considering him for a role. Michael Edwards and Julian Ward, hailed for their work at Liverpool during the Jurgen Klopp era, are also said to have been discussed. However, both recently left Anfield, and it remains unclear whether either would be ready to jump straight back into such a high-profile job. Dan Ashworth is another name mentioned after he held talks with United ahead of his appointment as Newcastle United sporting director. But he is similarly an outsider, given it would now require a costly compensation package to lure him away from St. James Park. United Chief Executive Richard Arnold joins Murtough in facing uncertainty less than two years after replacing Ed Woodward. Former Paris Saint-Germain CEO Jean-Claude Blanc, who also has experience at Juventus, joined Ineos in February and is a replacement candidate. Despite initially sealing a minority investment, Ratcliffe looks set to initiate significant change in M16.